Um, now, why I'm up here, I've had two personal contacts with the animal shelter. Um, one of them, I attempted to turn in a stray dog that had a collar, a very nice dog. I was told point blank to pop, I, I don't know the person he was, I don't have names, a lot of tattoos, a lady uh, tattoos on her arm, was told point blank that, uh, that tomorrow was kill day. Um, this dog had a collar. And that tomorrow is kill day. If you leave that dog, it will be killed. Please take it home. Under the breath, I asked. I didn't know the numbers. I said, isn't there a mandatory full time, especially for a nice dog with a collar? Under her breath, she mumbled, not here. I had another uh, interaction with the animal shelter. My wife was trying to convince me it was a wonderful idea to have our dogs microchipped, where you were scanned so that they know exactly who they belong to without calling. And I, I made a half a joke. I bet you our animal shelter doesn't even have one of those. My wife contacted the company. They said, yes, we provide them free of charge to all the animal shelters. Um, so my wife called. I, again, didn't want to spend money to have this done, but I'll be honest. My wife called the shelter. They said, yes, we have one of those some, somewhere here. The batteries are dead. No one in this county can afford to microchip their animals. My wife quickly named off a dozen people that we know that have microchipped animals. So my, my wife said, is it a matter of the money for batteries? I will gladly bring you some. And she was told, no, we do not have time. That is not our policy to check for microchips. Um, my wife went ahead and brought them the batteries anyway. Um, those are my two personal, I have no I don't know Mrs. Dennis, I don't know anybody else. I'm telling you my two personal interactions with this very high-priced animal shelter, and you just saw your response for $63,000 a year of oversight. I would really encourage this broken system to be looked into and fixed. Thank you.